हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर जर्नी विथ मास डिफेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज एटम द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट हैविंग ऑल इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज इज कॉल्ड एन एटम Atom is the smallest particle, a smallest unit of an element which contains all its properties. The atom is generally very reactive, and it does not exist in the free state. It occurs combined with other atoms forming molecules. For example, two atoms of hydrogen. combined together forming h2 molecule similarly two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen combined together forming the molecule of water the atoms of noble gases are very less reactive and they occur in the free state which may also be called monoatomic molecules it means the atoms of noble gases are very less reactive and they occur in the free state as atoms and these may be called monoatomic molecules helium neon argon krypton xenon radon etc are noble gases and these exist as monoatomic molecules that is molecules having only one atom composition of an atom any isotope or atom of an element is made up of neutrons protons and electrons the atom or isotope of an element is made up of three fundamental particles and these are neutrons protons and electrons this is the atom consisting of positively charged proton neutral neutron and negatively charged electron the proton and neutron are present at the nucleus of atom while the negatively charged electrons move around the nucleus in the extra nuclear region now let us see what is atomic number the number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom is called its atomic number and it is denoted by z the number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom is called its atomic number it is denoted by z z is equal to number of protons present in the nucleus and it is also equal to number of extra nuclear electrons in the case when atom is neutral it means the neutral atom contains same number of positively charged protons and same number of negatively charged electrons this is atom and the number of protons present in the nucleus is nothing but atomic number which is denoted by z and now the next term mass number the sum of number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is called its mass number it is denoted by z the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is called its mass number and it is denoted by a it means a is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons it means a is equal to z plus n where z is atomic number that is number of protons and n is number of neutrons 
the number of neutrons in an atom can be calculated using the relationship a minus z this is an atom and number of protons plus number of neutrons present in its nucleus is called its mass number which is denoted by a now the time for self assessment the mass number of chlorine may be 17 35 37 and 35.5 if your answer is 35.5 it is wrong. 35.5 amu is the atomic mass of chlorine, but here the question is mass number, which is equal to the sum of number of neutrons and number of protons. 17 is atomic number of chlorine. The mass number of chlorine may be 35 and 37 it must be noted that atomic number that is z and mass number that is a are always natural numbers with 1 2 3 4 etc they can never be fractional atomic number or mass number can never be fractional Now, representation of an atom. Any atom of an element is represented as follows. X with subscript Z and superscript A. Here, Z is atomic number of element. It is atomic number of element. A is mass number of atom while X is the symbol of element. Number of neutrons can be calculated by subtracting Z from A. A minus Z is equal to number of neutrons. If Atomic number is subtracted from the mass number, we get the number of neutrons. Now, the time for another self assessment. Find out the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in Na with atomic number 11 and mass number 23. Here, X, Z, A is equal to sodium 11, 23. Here, the number of protons, that is Z, is equal to 11. And since there is no charge on sodium atom, same number of electrons will also be present. And the number of neutrons N is equal to A minus Z that is 23 minus 11 and it is equal to 12 thus this atom this isotope contains 11 protons 11 electrons and 12 neutrons and now isotopic mass the isotope x z a contains z protons Z electrons and A minus Z neutrons. Therefore, its isotopic mass M is expected to be the sum of masses of all its constituent particles. The isotopic mass of any isotope is expected to be equal equal to the sum of masses of all its constituent particles. It means m is equal to z into mp plus z into me plus a minus z into mn. The terms involved in this equation 
आर गिवेन ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड एम इज एक्सपेक्टेड और कैलकुलेटेड आइसोटोपिक मास एम पी मास ऑफ वन प्रोटोन एंड इट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन टू सेवन सिक्स एम यू एम ई मास ऑफ वन इलेक्ट्रोन एंड इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 फाइव फोर एट सिक्स एम यू एंड फाइनली एम एन इज मास ऑफ वन न्यूट्रॉन एंड इट इज नथिंग बट वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट सिक्स सिक्स फाइव एम यू एक्चुअल और ऑब्जर्व आइसोटोपिक मास इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एक्सपेक्टेड और कैलकुलेटेड आइसोटोपिक मास बट नाउ वी हैव टू कंसिडर एक्चुअल और ऑब्जर्व आइसोटोपिक मास With the discovery of mass spectrometer, very precise determination of isotopic masses m dash has become possible. It means when the mass spectrometer has been discovered, the isotopic masses can be determined very precisely and very accurately. it has been found that the observed or actual isotopic mass of any isotope of an element is always less than its calculated or expected isotopic mass let us see it again the actual or observed isotopic mass of any isotope has been found to be always less than its calculated or expected isotopic mass it means the actual isotopic mass is always smaller than the expected isotopic mass and the difference between these two terms is called mass defect the difference between the calculated isotopic mass that is m and the observed isotopic mass that is m dash of an isotope is called mass defect it is denoted by delta m change in mass and mass defect is equal to expected or calculated isotopic mass minus observed or actual isotopic mass it means the mass of an isotope is always less than its expected mass and the difference between calculated isotopic mass and observed isotopic mass is called mass defect it means this amount of mass of isotope has decreased has been lost energy equivalence of mass mass can be transformed into energy in accordance with the einstein's relationship e is equal to mc square it means mass can be transformed into energy as per this einstein's relationship where m is mass being transformed into energy mass which is being transformed into energy and c is velocity of light and it is equal to 2.9979245 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and e is the amount of energy that can be obtained from a mass of the substance energy equivalence of 1 mu let 1 am mass be transformed into energy in accordance with this einstein's relationship then we have to calculate the amount of energy that can be obtained from 1 am that is we have to calculate energy equivalence of 1 am e is equal to mass 1 am is equal to 1.6605 into 10 power minus 27 kg and velocity of light 
2.9979 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second whole square and on solving it we get energy is equal to 14.923585 into 10 to the power minus 11 joule we know that one electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule and therefore this amount of energy in which is given in joule can be transformed into electron volt by dividing 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 and on solving it we get E is equal to 931.5 into 10 to power 6 electron volt and we know that 10 to power 6 is nothing but mega which is denoted by capital M and hence E is equal to 931.5 mega electron volt. Thus, the energy equivalence of 1 AMU is equal to 931.5 mega electron volt. Now, the time for another self-assessment. The isotopic mass of helium-4 is 4.0026 AMU. Then, Calculate its mass defect. Here is the solution. ZXA is here to HE4, that is helium with atomic number 2 and mass number 4. It contains 2 protons, 2 electrons, and 4 minus 2 neutrons, that is 2 neutrons. This isotope contains two protons, two electrons, and two neutrons. We know that calculated isotopic mass is given by this relationship. Z is atomic number and A minus Z is number of neutrons. Z is equal to 2. This is mass of proton. Z equals to again 2 and this is mass of electron and number of neutrons is also 2 and this is mass of neutron. On solving it, we get calculated or expected isotopic mass is equal to this one, mass of proton, mass of electron plus mass of neutron multiplied by 2. It is M is equal to 2 into 2.0164896 AMU and it is nothing what the calculated isotopic mass or expected isotopic mass equal to 4.0329792 AMU. This is calculated or expected isotopic mass. We know that mass defect is equal to calculated or expected isotopic mass minus observed or actual isotopic mass. This is calculated isotopic mass and therefore delta M is equal to 4.0329792 AMU and in the question the actual or observed isotopic mass has been given equal to 4.0026 AMU and on subtracting this mass into this we get 0 0.0303 0 0.0303792 amu this is the mass defect of he4 isotope it means this amount of mass of this isotope has been lost has been decreased and hence this is mass defect Thank you for watching the video with concentration. Please like and share it. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new video in time. Thank you again.